Welcome back. Now we've seen design legend Tony Duquette's Beverly Hills home. Exotic excess was the signature. Now Tony's business partner and designer Hutton Wilkinson shows us the home's gorgeous grounds. When Helena Rubinstein came to visit the garden, she said, there's something fascinating everywhere you look. And she was right. The obelisks here were made for the MGM film Lovely to Look At. The chandelier, which seems to be hanging in midair, was made for the James Coburn house in the 1970s. And it creates a pattern of stars on the dance floor when we're here at a party. There's also a 28 foot tall sculpture called Phoenix Rising from Its Flames. It was made for an exhibition that Tony did on his 80th birthday. One of the most fascinating facts about this garden is that most of these plants are in pots. Very few are actually planted in the ground. They all were thrown out in back alleys by rich gardeners in Beverly Hills, and Tony would pick them up. But the biggest amount of these plants came from Chavez Ravine when they destroyed the land to build Dodger Stadium. Tony got all the succulents at that time. The New York Times called him the first designer of the 21st century because of his ability to recycle, to repurpose, and to reinvent materials and use them in creative ways. And they said that when the day comes that there are no more forests to tear down, people will have to decorate and build like Tony Duquette. But believe it or not, there's still more. We have a whole other garden to investigate. As you can see, the garden is in three levels. We started with the covered terrace, then the central section with the chandelier and the tree house, and finally this level, which is shaded and cool. This is the most romantic spot in the garden. It's the most secluded. So on this level, there's the koi pond. There's the little Vietnamese wedding boat, which I found in a shop window on Beverly Boulevard and had to have. There's the Indian temple. And finally, there's the waterfall, which is created by my infinity swimming pool next door. That's the house I live in. This is the house I play in. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's been a great pleasure to show you Tony Duquette's house. And he always said to me, he did these works to inspire individuality and creativity in others. And so I hope that this visit has inspired you.